Hey everyone, I am Emily Supio with Cozy Clicks, the online photography school, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can add leaf overlays to your image to make it appear to be more like fall. Now, before I get started with that, I would love to know where you are watching from right now. Is it a place that fall is already in full swing? Or maybe you are like me. I am in the desert. I am in Phoenix, Arizona, where fall never appears to ever really happen. It gets a little cooler here, but those beautiful colors and the leaves just don't fall. So I've got to add them in with overlays, which is okay, right? So I'd love to know, you can put a comment below where you are watching from. I always love to connect with all of you a little more, but I wanna show you how to add overlays from the Cozy Clicks Leaf Overlay Collection. And if you don't have those, or you don't have a leaf overlay set, you can do this tutorial with any leaf overlay. You can go to cozyclicks.com forward slash Photoshop Actions. You can click the link also in the description. You can check those out. Those are discounted heavily right now because it is fall, but let's get started. I'm gonna work on this picture right here and I want to make it appear like it is fall because I actually took this picture in the fall in the desert and it doesn't appear to be fall. So I'm gonna start by grabbing one of the Cozy Clicks leaf overlays. I already have it opened up inside of my Photoshop. So this is the one I've selected. Within that set, there are several, several other ones to pick from and select from that fit your image. But once you have it open, you're gonna grab your move tool, which is this X on the side, and you're just gonna drag it into the picture you want. Now I'm just gonna put those leaves back up here and move back to my picture. Now you wanna make sure that that leaf overlay is selected in your adjustment layers. So you can see it's highlighted right here. Once that one is highlighted, you can take the move tool again and you can move those leaves wherever you want in your photo to make it work for you. Now, on this one, I'm not, obviously, I'm not gonna put it right over her face. I'm gonna choose an area where it kind of frames her face here. And on your photo, if on your photo, it doesn't work exactly like this, one thing you can do is go up to Edit, Free Transform, and you can adjust the size of your leaves. So you could make them bigger, you could make them smaller if you wanted a whole bunch of small leaves in there. It's really flexible, the things you can do to make these work for your photo. So I'm just gonna kind of move them around where I want them to be, and then double click there once I have it set where I want it to be. Um, actually, maybe I wanna move them over just a little bit more. Now, if you want to make them appear more like they are actually falling down, here's another option. And again, it is just an option. You don't have to do this. With those leaves selected, you can go up to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, and you can select the motion, or I guess the speed of your leaves falling. So you can see if I took this um, slider right here, and if we move it all the way over to the right, those leaves are going to appear to be falling super fast, right? And it doesn't look good, doesn't look natural. But you can choose and you can select the amount of motion you think looks most realistic um, or works the best with your photo. And again, there's not a right or wrong number right here, so don't go off exactly the number that I'm working with on the screen. You can also select the angle of that motion. So if you want it to appear kind of like they're blowing into the side, you might want to keep it right like this. If you want your leaves to appear like they're falling just up and down, you can change that angle to make them appear like they are falling up and down. Totally up to you, which is the cool thing about these, is you can make them work for you in your photo. Once you have it selected, you just click OK. And now from here, here's a couple other options you can use on your leaf overlays. Again, making sure that that is selected, the leaf overlays are highlighted. You can take your blend mode and you can kind of go through and see all of the different looks that you could get with those overlays. Now, as we go through, you can see some of them don't look as good as other ones, but you can select one. I think I kind of like the darken blend mode, so I'm gonna put that there. And the last thing, I could leave it just like this, but because I don't have a lot of the fall tones that I really want, I wanna add on one of the Cozy Clicks 
autumn overlays to this too. So kind of a bonus, I'm gonna show you how to do that right here too. If you have a photo that already has those tones, you could keep this just as is. I'm just kind of layering on some different options that you could do with your photo. So again, if you go to cozyclicks.com forward slash Photoshop actions, you can get these leaf overlays and the overlay toning set to the autumn overlay tones. And I have this one that's pulled up already. This is one of them right here. Um, again, there are, this is number 22. I think there are 30 ish in that set. Um, I've got the move tool. I'm going to move the overlay over my image and I'm using this tone one second on top of the leaf overlay so it ties all of the colors in and makes everything look like it makes sense more cohesive okay so now I have that autumn overlay tone right there my layer two and that's selected I'm going to go to edit free transform and here I'm going to just size that overlay so it falls over the image double click again this doesn't look good it's just the overlay right it's the blend mode that makes the magic and again here you've got lots of different options so with this selected I'm gonna go up to my blend modes and I'm gonna pick the one that I think looks best with this photo okay again you can see it gives you lots of different looks that overlay actually is pretty cool. I like the way that's kind of intense, but I do like the way that looks. Um, soft light too. I might put soft light on it. And then so it's not quite so intense. I'm just going to take the opacity of that toning overlay and I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And there it is without and there it is with those autumn tones in there and there you have it you can see different ways that you can incorporate and use either leaf overlays and where you can add in those autumn tones on your image to make it look really beautiful really autumn like especially if you are in an area like me that is the desert um, or maybe it's summertime right now or it's very snowy where you're watching um, and so this is a great Great way to do that. So if you would like to check out more, head over to cozyclicks.com forward slash Photoshop actions. I appreciate you watching today. If you made it to the end, thank you. Let me know. Leave me a thumbs up so I know that you made it to the end. And um, make sure to keep checking back as I will continue to add more videos here. Thank you guys. Bye. <laughs>